You got this. You are the best. You are the fastest. You are SS Custom Welding. Hey, Stan, I think we're ready for you. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We're in Fort Lauderdale, Florida with Stan the Stainless Man at D'Angelo Marine and Exhaust. Tell us what's all inside. We do a lot of custom marine fabrication here. Come inside, take a look. Let's check it out. So as far as a custom marine shop, how custom actually is it? Well, I mean, we basically do everything here. The sheet comes in, it gets cut to size if they need to trim it down to a size. Then it comes to our rollers where they can roll it to the shape Absolutely. that they need. And when it's rolled to the shape and it needs to get chopped up, that's when the parts cutters come in and they chop up those pieces. Absolutely. And then we go to the fabricators. Correct. Welcome to our fabrication department. You got you guys set up in each bay. So they got their specific print and these guys are the ones that are fabricating. They're not welding it all the way out. No, 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 no. They'll break it down. They usually get a jig. They'll jig it up on the table, um, do some pre-welding on it so it don't pull around. Yeah. And then it comes off the jig onto the cart and then to my booth to weld. Let's see your booth. Absolutely, man. Oh, yeah. That's Big Bertha there. What in the world does that go on? Oh, that, my friend, is for the Coast Guard. Yeah. What, is it a slide for him? FRC, which is a fast response cutter. What part is this? Exhaust system. Yeah, that's a big freaking exhaust. Yeah, so this is what we're going to weld today, man. So we're going to do a little challenge for you. We're going to do you versus the Cobot. What do you think? I think we got a challenge. Let's do it. You ready, big doll? Let's go. All right, I got the timer set right here. When it comes to spinning this thing, I'm gonna be your spinning man. You let me know, and then I'll give you the old shimmy and jimmy, and we'll move already. You ready to go? Let's do it. Go. You're already at four seconds. You're falling behind. Patience. Slow and steady wins this race. When it comes to stainless, there is a bit of a trick to it. Well, and given it's so thin on that higher part, right? That higher part is like you said it was 12 gauge. Yeah. And you're welding it to something that's like three quarters of an inch thick? Yeah, and it's 347 filler, so. What does the 347 have to do with it? It has a lot of chromium and nickel in it, mm. which is better for heat resistance and salt corrosion. Mmm, some of that good austenitic stuff. Yeah, so she likes to burn a little dirty and a little slower than regular 316 here. I always say it welds like pudding. That's right. <laughs> We're at 150 amps. We're at a minute and 15 seconds. We made it a whole four inches so far. Stan, I think this robot's gonna eat your lunch. Not by looks it won't. Really bouncing off that top, aren't you? Yeah, in and Kind of getting up there and then coming right back down to not put too much heat on that 12 gauge. Yeah, because we cannot burn through. So we gotta be very careful here. So you can see from walking the cup, some companies won't allow you to do this because you got this little, little scratch mark along that stainless. But you can see that this is two different thicknesses of material. Otherwise, he'd have all that gold color everywhere. You can see that the oxides are a little bit more heat affected right there across the top because of this thinner 12 gauge steel. But that weld's on there. We're at three minutes, 45 seconds. We've got at least a foot and a half. I'm about to switch filler wire, so. Where's the filler? Where's the filler? Where hey, here you go. Essentially, it's just another day in the office, right? This is how you weld every day here at D'Angelo. That's it. Hot, fast, blast the gas. Five minutes, 45 seconds. We almost ready, spinner? I'll tell you to spin after, after I cool it. All right, all right, all right. 36 inch flange here. And, and you do the math. Spin. To find that circumference. Oh, the ground. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Hooked up, latched up, good to go, go, oh. go, go, go. A 36 inch flange. We've got roughly 113 inches of weld to make it all the way around. We're at seven and a half minutes. We've got several inches on this flange already. Are you giving it any more heat on the bottom than the top? No, I'm, I'm mashed down right now. Mashed down on his foot pedal, 150 amps. I'm just holding a little longer. You just can't really see it. You can see it in the weld, but you can't really see it when I'm welding it. I got a wire right here when you're ready. I don't know, man, you shaking now. Oh, uh, what's hitting me to ground? Something's hitting my filler. Oh yeah, your cable, you ready? Uh, get this out of your way so we don't flop your little filler there. 10 minutes. I don't think we're at the halfway just yet. I'm gonna tell your boss you're too slow. Spin. We are roughly halfway at this point, but only one tungsten so far for Stan the Stainless Man. 13 minutes, 50 seconds in. You're around in the corners. You gotta duck a little bit because your head button is flange. Now you opted for a 10 cup, a Jazzy 10. Yeah, I got a Jazzy 10. 
Is that your go-to? For walking, yeah. What about the, the fupa? You don't mess with that one? Uh, sometimes, but she, she likes to slip a lot on these things. I can get a little cleaner weld with it, but she's gonna slip a little more often. Again, man, I can't jack that heat down, so going nice and slow. I got like a steady pace I gotta go without blowing through. All right, you ready? Yeah. Ground down. Rotate. 19 minutes, 19 minutes for the final stretch. That's some hood time right there, brother. That's 20 minutes, 21 minutes so far, non-stop. How's the sciatica? It's getting there now. Leg's starting to shake. You're starting to get that toe get, shake. Getting the gumby leg. Oh, does he have enough wire? Oh, oh it's coming down. Your wire boy ain't here to help you now. Oh, the wire's right on the bottom. You can't hurry, you can't rush, you just gotta finish. Oh, he's shaking. Every oh. limb is just wobbly now. A little extra for... Oh, oh, arc off, officially arc off right there. 23 minutes, 58 seconds. Oh. It's almost 24 minutes for that whole weld. We didn't find out that this isn't 36 in, but 26. 26. 26, so the circumference for that is 81.64. And then we divide that by your 24 minutes, you're at like 3.4 inches a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. That's about right. Does that make you kind of sad? It does. Yeah. Let's go see what the robot can do. Damn. We're about to set this 90 on the, the cobot and weld her out. <laughs> a little bigger than the last one. So we've got the big freaking 90 inside the, the cobot bay. Stan's in here, he's actually got someone he's training on how to run these things. Again, with these cobots and people saying that they're taking jobs, this is just another tool in the shop. They're able to utilize this to save some time and money. We talked to the owner, this thing's only brought them more work for the welders and fabricators, needing even more employees, just having the one cobot in-house. That's what these things are here to do, they're not here to take your job, they're here to improve it. We put our set points in for our flange, and now what we do is we set a test run real quick. Make sure that it's not gonna hit, it's gonna go where we want it to go before we actually run it with wire. Same wire? Correct. Yeah, I don't know the size though, maybe 045. It won't be as pretty as your wells, even if it does smoke you. Yeah, it's definitely gonna <laughs> smoke me. So obviously we set our set points and then we test run it real quick and, and that is exactly why. While we were test running it, we realized that we were one point off, our robot only hit the plan. So now we go back, we reset those two points again Test run it again, and then let's go from there. All right, now that we got our um, other two points corrected, we're gonna try to set another test run real quick and see how it looks. We definitely should have timed that. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Y'all been setting up for 100%. We could have got lunch. Now granted, this is the first time we've done one of these. So it's already been past time. I think yeah. you beat the robot. I would say I won. We'll, we'll count it. We're still programming, you're still training. But at the end of the day, you've never put one of these parts on the cobot before, you've never trained it. No, this is the first time we've actually had one of these giant 26 inch pieces of uh, Coast Guard exhaust on here, so. Once it's set, you had like eight of these to do, that's where you're gonna see like the turnout. 100%. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. turn and burn way faster than you can do any of that. Yeah, you have your set points. Once you butt your flange up on there, you just hit a, you know. Put it there. in the same spot and just. That's it, man. Send it. We'll still see what the weld time is. But I think you, I think you, I think you got it. I, think I, I still can't get rid of us. That's right. I am the best. <laughs> got the bot moving. So right now we're at 40 seconds. That thing's moving way faster. We're at a minute right now. We've already got a foot, if not more, of weld. All right, we're about to rotate it. We're at a minute, almost two minutes. Man, we've got a lot more weld than two minutes. We've got almost almost three feet, almost made it halfway. There it goes. We have to wait for the bot to move. We don't want to damage any of the fancy stuff. We're running pulse MIG on this process with what filler? 347 filler. 347 pulse MIG. So we got that bead on there already. You can check it out. Real smooth. It's not, it don't have them pretty steps like stands, but that well went down in two minutes. You ready? I'm ready. Back up and running. Three minutes, 50 seconds so far, weld time. We were at 24 minutes with you. I'm predicting like we get under 10. 
You notice too, it's no burn through on that bad boy, nice and clean. You know you're getting penetration. Oh yeah. And yet she's not cold. burning through, man. So she's burned in there nice and hot. Well, this has been way easier. I felt a little tired watching you wiggle. Oh, I'm sure. This has been nice. You should have felt my hand. We're at five minutes, 40 seconds, and we're two thirds of the way there. Clock's ticking, boys. Clock's ticking. And that's our tie-in right there. It's real clean, real nice. And the weld size is real even. And didn't nobody have to put on a pair of welding gloves for it. That's nice. Got about another foot. It's just working. You really want to be careful around these cobots too when you're in their bays. I mean, at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we're still safe. We keep our eye protection on. You can get flash burn really easy. I know someone else, the robot's doing the work, but it doesn't mean that you can't be safe. Can it happen? I don't think it's gonna happen under 10. I'm at 9.30. So he's putting the programming tip on there so that he can poke. That's exactly point. five eighths, that, that tip. Exactly. That way the robot knows I gotta go, that's as far as I can go. Uh, stop, right there, five eighths. Contact tip to work this thing. Back at it. Bam, 12 minutes, 17 seconds is our stop time on the flange. If I do the math, get the circumference, divide it by factors of five and 28, divided by six, carry the three, and we're at- Talk to me. 12 inches a minute. Okay. And I really, all I found that out was on the program. I saw he programmed it to 12 inches a minute. Perfect. <laughs> so those are the results, Stan. I mean, it's right there, right in front of you, 24 minutes roughly for you to finish up the same flange as this took somewhere around, I don't know the exact weld time, because there was some downtime in between, but it smoked your at the end of the day, it really did. 100%, definitely faster. When it comes down to production work, you gotta have one of these. This is a, a money-making shop. End of the day, that's what this shop's made to do. Correct. And it hires skilled craftsmen too. But y'all got all those little nonsense little parts that this thing can bust out quick and in a hurry. 100%, all day, every day, to just run them out. Would you say that it's brought more work in? Definitely brought more in. Would you say that we need more welders? We definitely need more welders. More work, more welders. You guys got to get into it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And if you want to see the other bit of content that we did right here at D'Angelo's, check out the video right here.